What's going on guys, Tyler here from Unbox Techie and today I'm going to give you my very top pick for what is the best gift to give a tech lover in 2020. This is my very top tech pick for 2020. All right, today we are going to talk about that item, but before we jump into it, I do just wanna say if you're new to this channel, be sure and smash the nice red look and subscribe button and hit that bell icon, be notified of upcoming videos just like this. Not only do I talk about my very top tech picks but I also talk about other gift ideas for men and women as well as tech reviews I do unboxing videos I also talk a lot about Black Friday sales and when to get good deals especially on tech products here on my channel so if you want to be involved and up to date on all of that be sure and hit that nice red look and subscribe button all right let's jump into my computer and talk about this amazing item all right guys so here we are jumping into my computer but before we do the links to this product will be down below in the description. So check out that link, see what kind of price you can get for this item. Like I said, this item is the top pick for 2020 and it is the Elgato Stream Deck XL. Now before you're like, what the heck is an Elgato Stream Deck XL? I'm going to explain how this may be the most versatile and useful item for someone that is into video editing that is making maybe music that is possibly just editing documents on their computer that is working from home that likes things that just make their whole process and workflow much easier that maybe is streaming on twitch this thing does everything and when i say everything i no joke this thing does literally everything so there is probably some applicable use for the person that you're buying this gift for even if you don't know it right off the bat so let's go ahead and just jump into it and what what this is and why i absolutely love this product now when i actually switched from this camera view right here to this camera view right here and onto my computer screen, that faded transition was actually a button I pushed on this stream deck right here. I'm recording on the OBS or the open broadcasting software and that's kind of just tech stuff. If you're interested in it, I could make a separate video about it, but that transition was actually a shortcut that I have programmed into my Elgato stream deck to um, allow it to make that transition. So what this actually is, is this is just a board of keys and these keys are programmable to do whatever you want. So think of them as like their own separate shortcut. So for example, if you wanted to copy something and you do that all the time, you hit control C or command C and you copy something all the time and then you wanted to paste something, you hit command V all the time or control V and you're pasting things, you're copy and pasting nonstop stop what if there was a way you could just push a button one button not not command c not command v and it could just copy it for you or it could paste it for you this is essentially what stream deck does is it allows you to program multiple key combinations multiple keystrokes things like that into these buttons it also has a wide variety of functions already built into the um, software that i'm going to show you here on my computer but this is just amazing i want you guys to understand the practical uses of it so you understand how amazing and kind of open your mind to the possibilities that this stream deck actually has like i said if you're interested the link is down below in the description now there are three different types of this stream deck this is the one i have it's the 32 key that means it has let me see one two three four it's got eight keys across and four keys down so it makes a nice rectangle with four down and eight across and it is really nice like that i i haven't filled up all the keys but i think i probably could if i really wanted to um i <laughs> it really is just i kind of like to keep them spread out so i i know where they are and i can use them and do things with them without having to look at them so it is very nice but if you're interested in a smaller version they have the 15 key which um, at least in this video that I'm making is on sale right now check out the link in the description see what kind of price you can get for it maybe it's on sale maybe on a better sale maybe not even on sale who knows so check that out um, so as you can see they're kind of like these little plasticky buttons almost like 
uh, I don't really know how to describe them. They're kind of like a hard plastic or something like that, but they're see-through and very clear. And there's a screen behind them and you can actually see, and you can set the screen of the icon for whatever, whatever, if you wanted a picture, if you want to create your own icon, whatever you want to do, you can set that icon for that specific action on here. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. They also have for the mini version, which is also on sale right now down from $99. Um, again, check the link in the description description see what kind of price you can get for it um, 79 bucks right here um, for the six key one now you might think like oh only six functions like oh I need a lot more than that but stream deck actually has some different options for you so I'll show you how this actually works and maybe you can get away with just the six key one um, and at that price point it is definitely in a lot of people's price range for gift ideas so um, anywhere from 79 bucks up to 250 at least at the time of recording this video again check that link in the description let's go ahead and just take a look here and see see what we can uh, do with this stream deck. So I want to bring up the software real quick and just show you what this looks like. All right, so here is the software that is running on my Stream Deck. This comes, you just download it from Elgato's website. Elgato, by the way, is a streaming company. They specifically design products to help ga video game streamers like that are streaming to Twitch or platforms like that. But like I said, there's so much functionality with this. People that like work in an office and have a corporate job could probably use this even more if not if not the same amount as streamers so i highly highly recommend this for anyone that is into tech or works at home or has a computer job that they're using uh, the computer a lot for. Um, so like I said here, what I've done is I've actually grabbed the icons from my um, at Mac applications and put them right in here. So if I tap any of these buttons right here, it will launch that app. How cool is that? I now have a physical item. I can tap something and launch a computer app just like that. So that's super helpful. It's kind of like my uh, my bar down at the bottom. I don't know if you can really see that, but I have a, a toolbar down there that has all my apps. I basically now have a physical version. I can just tap the button and it will launch that. On top of this, there are so many other options that you can use this for. Um, I made like a YouTube section here, a Twitch section, Streamlabs, Spotify. This will launch my Spotify account. And if I actually click on it, it's not going to launch Spotify. It's going to open a folder. So if I click on this, you can see it opens what I've created in this software, a folder. So basically now I have 31 other keys because this one is the back key right so i now have 31 other keys i can program in this folder so i think it's amazing i it really is an incredible app so if if you fill all these up you just can turn them into folders now i click the spotify folder i have 31 other options here i can fill that up but what if you wanted a folder inside of a folder well you can do that too so for example right over here if we go over to youtube here i click that we have all these different folders right here i can click the obs or the open broadcasting software what i'm recording this video on i can click that folder and it's another folder here we now have 32 keys on my front screen 31 in my youtube folder and then 31 more here in my obs folder how cool is that? So you have unlimited basically functionality. You can create folders. You just tap buttons and things open. And all of my movements that I'm doing here when I'm double clicking is exactly how it functions on the actual device. Um, guys, I don't want to spend a ton of time like breaking this whole thing down, but there is so much that you can do with it. Let's just look at a few um, functions here that are pre-built in. Um, for example, we have game capture. That might be something that you're using if you're using video games a lot. OBS, if you're recording YouTube videos using the OBS software, this helps. Um, you can just drag in a record function just like that. And now if I tap that button, it will start or stop recording um, my video just like that. Um, a stream function, if you're using OBS to stream. Soundboard right here, you can play audio, pause audio, or stop audio, excuse me. 
Um, you have the Stream Deck right here. You can create folders simply by having a button that creates a folder for you, things like that. Um, you have multi-action, stuff like that. So you have, if you drag this in, now you have the option to do multiple things. So say you have a function that you, you're doing all the time where you have to copy a piece of data and then paste it somewhere else, and then you have to print the page out. Well, you could just have a multi-action that does all of that for you. You could just tap um, a button and it would run a set of commands. Maybe it needs to control C and then it needs to control V and then it needs to control P. For example, that would be copy, paste, and print. Um, you can run all of that stuff in here. Um, that would just be a single button that you would just tap and it would run that set of commands. Um, it's not super hard to set up. It really isn't. Um, they do a good job of walking you through kind of how to do it. There's tons of videos on YouTube of how to actually run different commands and stuff like that. If you need any of that, um, you can set timers, brightness, sleep. Uh, what else? Look at all this stuff that there is here. And this is all just like pre-built in stuff. This is not the custom stuff really. Um, the website, if you wanna have a button to go to a certain website, okay, you wanna go to amazon.com, you make a little button, you upload their little Amazon logo um, to your little software here, and then you have a little button that looks like the Amazon logo, you tap on it and boom, it takes you right over to amazon.com. What about um, maybe you need to open a file or open a folder or something like that, open an app file or folder, you can do that right here, that's how I made these right here, those open apps. Um, maybe you need text right here, you got Twitter, you can post a tweet just simply by tapping one button and boom, a tweet is sent out to your account. Um, maybe you say, made a new sale or something like that and you wanna say that and you every time you hit it, it posts that tweet out there. Um, YouTube, you can use YouTube right here, you got chat messages and viewers when you're live, things like that. The control center, you can set brightnesses, you can set colors, you can do any of that stuff. Spotify right here. You you can play, pause, toggle, shuffle, skip tracks, everything like that. I showed you a little bit over here in the Spotify folder. Those are what those look like there. Philips Hue, this controls my lights. If I wanna turn off my lights in my bedroom, boom, I just tap that and it turns off my lights in the bedroom. Um, there is just so much here. I don't think you really like can comprehend it just by watching a quick video like this, but there is so much here. You can do so much. And with programming your own functions and your own hotkeys or shortcuts, as I think Windows calls them, um, you can basically set this up to do whatever you want. So when I'm editing a video, normally to cut the video and start a new a new clip, I would have to hold down Control B. But here I can just click where I want and just tap a button, and it'll it'll auto put in the computer command B and boom, it'll make that cut for me. So it works with Windows, works with Mac, um, anything that you guys really want to do, you're pretty much able to do as far as macros, uh, shortcuts, hotkeys, functions, all kinds of stuff, it's all in here. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this product. It is absolutely phenomenal and probably going to be recommending it next year too. I don't see this being outdated anytime soon. Um, the way they've done it, they've already put out like two or three software updates since I bought it a few months ago and the updates have been fantastic. There's now screen savers for all the keys and stuff like that. It's it's phenomenal, phenomenal. I don't know why I keep saying that word wrong. Let me go back into my OBS um, folder here and I'm gonna tap the um, scene function and switch back over here. And that's, that's this is what I'm using, this device that I use to actually make my videos, I'm presenting to you right here. So if you guys are interested, check out the link down below in the description. It is an amazing, amazing product. And if you kind of explain to it or even show the person that you buy this product for this video, they will hopefully understand like the functionality and the incredible capability that this product has. It really is phenomenal, phenomenal. <laughs> and I absolutely believe in uh, this company, Elgato, and that this product will be relevant for a long, long time. So check that link out, guys, and get this product for those favorite tech lovers of yours. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. And hit that subscribe button. Okay, bye.